gray pine, ghost pine, bull pine, controversially the digger pine. What is it good for? There's not much, I can tell you that. I guess we'll start what is what it's good for. Um, the pine cones, or the pine nuts. The, uh, the animals love the pine nuts, and uh, so I guess that's good for the local uh, squirrels and such. But the pine cones are massive and extremely sharp. I'd hate to run over one with a lawnmower. Let's hit the negatives real quick, and then I'll give you the reason what I think they're good for. Typically, they usually have a lean to them, like this one here. Um, they're really brittle. They break really easily. They're they have these huge branches on the side and they usually break off. Um, they fall over regularly. And they don't, you can't really use them for lumber because they're so twisted. Um, the can't really, no one around here really uses them for firewood. They're just so sappy and um, they rot extremely easily. So the reason, I, let's, let me start here. I was uh, searching for inexpensive uh, soils, uh, as I'm cheap. <laughs> and I came across this video, uh, Back to Eden, I think it was called. Um, if you haven't seen it, it's, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I'll put a link. But it, the, basically what the dude was doing, was saying, or doing in the video was, he was looking, stepping back, looking at nature and, and observing what, what's going on. And then he would take that and mimic it and, um, and adapt it into his garden. After watching that video, I walked outside to um, a pile of chips that I had, because I had a gray pine fall about two years ago. And I had a pile of wood chips after I chipped it. And I, I walked out there and I dug into the pile and I grabbed this just beautiful compost, um, moist. It was just, it was just great. And I, I just kind of was thinking, you know, it's just so interesting how it's, it's over our heads and under our feet. But for some reason we go out and buy this really expensive soil. What I think it's good for and doing what I do, usually going a little crazy and above and beyond, I, I cut down most of my pines and I'm going to chip all the um, the brush, the limbs and all that, and then um, where this experiment comes in, because I know the chips, I know what the chips are going to do, I'm going to bury the logs. No one wants it, I'm not going to burn it, so I'm going to bury it and see if that'll speed up the uh, decaying process of the logs and hopefully in a couple of years I can dig into that pile and it'll just be nice. Uh, somewhat good soil, it'll have to be mixed and all that, but uh, that's gonna be my experiment. Their lifespan's so short, they they grow awkwardly, they break off, they, they fall over, they die quickly. Maybe that's nature's way of taking this um, poor soil that we have out here and, and turning it into a good soil by creating these trees that falls over dies, falls over quickly, um, and, and decays quickly to, to improve our soils that we have out here. If you found this video uh, informative or interesting, hit the thumbs up. And if you want to see how the experiment goes, hit the subscribe button. And uh, I'll see you on the next one.